Hello there. Only one Kenobi here, only one. And a brand new delivery, this has just arrived. Let's get it open, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. One moment, please. The new Imperial Officer set. Great. Really good timing because I'm about to start opening some more vintage collection figures that I haven't opened yet. One of them is Admiral Piet. And I understand that Piet is in here, but with the correct number of notches on his insignia. So that's good news. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, the Quick Shot series will be back. I think it's about time I got that up and running again. Look at that though. Motti. That's so exciting. So we've got some other random fellas. It's been a while since I've thought about this set, even looked at it, but um, I think it's Motti. This is Piet, I believe. And then two of the random guys. Is that ISB in white? Oh man, I can't wait to get this open. I, I can't, as I say, I, I remember this getting announced and stuff a while ago, but I just can't remember who was in it apart from Piet. Let's get that in the background. The Republic gunship that you can see there in the background is just there temporarily. I'm just moving things around because I'm going to try and make space for the ARC 170 that I recently opened. So yeah, I'm in the process of change again. So let's get these open. Who is in <laughs> bag number one or A? That looks to me like that. It, oh yeah, this is Piet. This is an exciting moment for me because this is the first time I've, I've seen in the flesh or held the um, the Piet figure. I'm so glad about this. I'm, I'm glad this has arrived now because I really did not want to open the TVC one. I know that he is looking as he was in Re um, Re Return of the Jedi in that previous TVC, whatever it is. I can't remember the number, but I can put that detail up on screen. But this one, and me personally, as a big fan of The Empire Strikes Back, this is what I wanted. I, like, I think this is a great figure. I doubt it's any different from the other TVC one. Look at that, man. That's really good. The likeness is superb. The only problem with it, ladies and gentlemen, is the goddamn focus of my camera. There you go. That's brilliant. Let's put this fellow on a stand. Oh, I don't like that, though. Bloody hell. Come on, Asbro. Sort out the peg hole depth, will you? But this is a great figure. Nice. What a great start. Loving it. Already. Next up, we have... Oh, wow. I mean, the last time we got Motti. I might go and get him off the shelf. Dangerous for your Starfleet commander, not for this battle station. Look at that. What about that likeness? Um, I, I can kind of see what they're going for. The actor who played Motti was also in... Um, who framed Roger Rabbit? Marvin Acme. The rabbit cacked him last night. The detective that wakes up Eddie Valiant. Jeez, Eddie, if you want the money so desperately, why don't you come to me? It's really difficult for me to hold a focus. Maybe if I get that out of the background, man. It's probably the camera's trying to focus in on that. Right. I'm having a good nightmare with the focus, ladies and gentlemen, but this is this fella. He also comes with a hat. Yeah. Oh, hang on a minute. I tell you what, that looks like that character from, um, who was the right hand girl, I guess, of, um, Moff, what was he called? Um, Moff Gideon. Yeah, Moff Gideon. Wow, is it? Wow, I tell you what, that would work on a Mandalorian shelf, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'm safe to say this is a, a... Well, I don't know. I'll shut my mouth there before I say something that's incorrect, politically or whatever. This one... Uh, I, well, sorry, there's a blaster that has just appeared, ladies and gentlemen. This has just dropped out. I guess it might have come out of this character's uh, nice figure, though. You've got the six on the insignia there. That's what uh, the other Piet figure has. And Moff to Jared, which is very strange, given that he is a, a Moff, as opposed to a... I don't know, is that a Captain Insignia? I don't know. I don't know what happened with the Return of the Jedi. With the Insignia. It didn't work out, did it? And finally, this is the one I'm really looking forward to opening. Because you're going to get a small taste 
of what a dead Ramiro will look like, and also your new upcoming Tarkin. But this is... Who is this? I like the look of him. That definitely isn't. I like the look of this guy. It reminds me a little bit of Wolf Yularen, but it ain't. It ain't Wolf Yularen. I don't know who he, who he is, but he has an interesting skin tone there as well. Slightly tanned, maybe? Interesting. Articulation points. Well, I don't want to bore you with all that. You know how, what the deal is. All I'll say is they've got rocker ankles, which is just a nightmare. Don't like it. That's a peg hole. That's deep. This guy just stands. He's articulated, but he doesn't need rocker ankles, right? Why have these guys got rocker ankles? And so, oh, we are. There's some weapons in D. So here we go. What have we got here? Wow. So we've got, for this fella, he's got a hat, which I shall put on now. As did Krennic. Krennic had a hat at the very beginning of Rogue One. And he also has a blaster. An E11, I believe, is that? An E11, is that right? And does he have a holster? Yes, he does. So I'm going to put this gun in his holster there. Love that. I haven't seen a loose cap since uh, Juno Eclipse. But that's him. I like that. Yeah, ISB. Great. And just to show you how good these figures are, I'm going to now compare with the previous iterations of... I mean, this is Piet here. Power of the Force Piet, which looks nothing like him. And this is Motti, which came... Which is a repack, but he also got put into the Saga collection um, Death Star briefing set. So that's obviously a figure that I've enjoyed having on my shelf, but now he's surpassed by the new one. But let's go on on these new figures. That is Piet, and that's what Piet should look like. If you're an Empire Strikes Back, if you're an if you're an Empire Strikes Back fan, look at that. Great, great looking thing. Bring out more Imperials, man, but give him deeper peg holes with your Hasbro. I want stuff for Andor, man, big time. I loved Andor, loved it. And here is Motti. I suppose, yes, I can see it in the face now. Dangerous to your Starfleet, Commander, not to this battle station. Very arrogant, isn't he? This station is the ultimate power in the universe. I suggest we use it. Don't be too proud of this technological terror you've constructed. The ability to destroy a planet is insignificant next to the power of the Force. That looks just like that officer from Mando Season 2. And also Season 3. Going to Wonder World or wherever she was, the theme park. God, the, the North Korean style theme park on Coruscant. There we go. Interesting. And then what else? This fella. He's just ISB. I wish it was somebody I recognised, but... No, he looks too old to be, um, well, hang on a minute. Look at that insignia. What does that mean? Please don't tell me that's supposed to be Wolfie Larin. I seriously doubt it. Could it be? I'm going to have to go on Google and see what they say. It's doing my editing. Let's have a look at these two side by side. I mean, look at the difference. I'm going to keep this fella on my shelves, but as somebody else, not as Piet. I actually currently have him on my shelf, but doing that like looking away he just looks like a standard imperial doesn't he and then we've got motty old motty and new motty yeah they look completely different don't they <laughs> wow so i'll try and put him somewhere maybe just i'll put him somewhere but this guy is going to take prime place next to my uh tarkin and everybody up there and there is thingy and this is questionable ISB officer, whoever that is. No idea. Imperial officers, there they are. Let's see if I can find some names on the internet for you. Nope, couldn't find an answer. I've just been on the first one that came up other than the people selling this stuff. And that was Rebel Scum. And they just said it comes with two new officer portraits. I presume they mean these. As well as Admiral Piet, but then they said General Motti. I didn't realise he was a general. I thought he was an admiral. Sorry, if I said Admiral Motti before, I can't remember what I said, to be honest with you. Um, good figures, though, aren't they? Really good. That likeness is absolutely fantastic. So well done on that one, Hasbro. Like it. Motti ain't bad either. Not bad at all. Okay, so these are going to definitely make their way over here. 
a section of elite people. Like you've got Tarkin there, although that's a 2005 Tarkin. Really, I could do with an update of that. Never got the TVC one. Come on, Hasbro. You know, bring out some good stuff. Reissue that. All these guys from the, what's it called? The Death Star briefing. I managed to squeeze in our man there. Grand Admiral Thrawn, and then you've got Motti, uh, not Motti, uh, Wolfie Laren there as well. So that's just, you know, that's where they'll be heading. But thank you for watching this video, ladies and gentlemen. And just let me know if you've got any ideas of who those other characters are. And I'm sure I'll be back with another video very soon. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out.